Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome back to Airport CEO. I certainly hope you're having a fantastic day whenever and wherever you happen to be because I'm excited. I didn't expect to be doing another video on this game, but I said I would play around with things and I said I would see what I can do and I am a man of my word. So here we are. We are back in Dorkchester International Airport where things are working. Thanks to all of you, actually. A lot of you mentioned that subways would solve a lot of the problems that I was having and you were completely right. It's not solved all of them. We still have a lot of people trying to go to these car stops. We have vehicles currently tailing back, trying to get in and out of here. Uh, we have employees struggling to find staff rooms, which is kind of interesting that they're trying to go to that particular staff room. Oh, I see why they can't access that staff room. Hold on a second. It needs to be a secure area. So now they can access that staff room. Yeah, I think, needless to say, you've probably noticed there's been some changes since the last episode as well. Uh, so I'm going to pause while I walk through those. First and foremost, I decided to turn these two little spaces into staff rooms. And this is a staff room for the departures area. Going upstairs, I've decided to put in a few more chairs here and there. And also, we can go ahead and grab a couple of shop contracts up here. Because I know people do happen to like those. So we've got a couple of shops in there. Speaking of shops, the entire middle section of departures is covered in them. A bunch of shops, a bunch of chairs, a bunch of people coming and going. It's absolutely filthy, but it's working. If you look in the bottom right, we have four million. We have four million dollars right now. So whatever I did is, is definitely working. And uh, what I did essentially was I went into a lot of the vehicle settings. So I went into here and I said, you know, look at my vehicle's overview. I would go in and say, you know, something like push bike trucks. And I set them all to specific stands. So we have 16 stands. Therefore, we have 16 push bike trucks. And every push bike truck is assigned to a stand. I did the same thing with the stair trucks as well. If we go have a look at the stair trucks, we have, well, we've got more than 16 of those. But they are also largely assigned to stands as well. Now, I'm getting, a, I'm, I'm noticing here, we are getting some interesting, uh, interesting emails. We've had dangerous baggage getting loaded onto aircraft for a while. I think we're going to need to fix that. I think we're going to need to fix that. So first thing for us today is going to be baggage security. So let's have a little look under here. What we're going to need to do, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring up debugging again, and I'm going to keep simulate construction turned off. I know it's a little bit cheaty, but it's just a way to keep making progress. And I mean, I don't need to deploy contractors and stuff like that. I just, I, I, I'm, I've kind of gotten used to using it. A lot of the, the trouble that I was having with the game, um, has been solved thanks to, you know, turning off simulated construction. So it's just the way it's going to be. It's it's just the way it is. So, let's see here. We have a scanner for organics and guns and explosives and drugs and money. We have manual scanning as well. So, we could just do manual baggage scanning. What is this right here? That's the baggage bay itself. That's the baggage destroyer. I mean, I feel like we could just do all of these. I'm going to be honest. I feel like we have the money. So if we were to do this and then we were to get the one for organics and then we get the one for uh, guns and then we get the one for explosives and then we get the one for drugs and then we get the one for money and then we get the security station. I get the feeling that it's going to be very difficult for people to smuggle things into the airport is, is what I'm thinking here. So let's throw the security station itself up there. Let's bring some conveyor belts up like this and over like this so it goes straight into there. 
And that'll be our setup for getting rid of things. So if we get the baggage destroyer, we can throw it down in the corner. We'll throw it like there, right? And all we need to do, and I'm going to use high speed because I can. Uh, we're going to bring some high speed conveyor belts over to here. And uh, we're going to... I'm going to sink them down a second just because I don't... Actually, no. People can walk over conveyor belts. So we'll just do high speed conveyor belts like that. Right? And then all we need to do for these guys is exactly that same thing. So straight across like that. So if anything needs to get destroyed, if anything is scanned and found that shouldn't be there... It gets destroyed. And then we'll go do the same thing on the other side as well. So we go over here. We've got baggage coming in. So what we're going to want to do is... Oh boy. I'm going to want to change that about a little bit. Uh, so... Let's get rid of all of this. And let's bring... Let me see here. Uh, let's bring baggage up to this spot. And essentially, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So, we'll go in. We'll get our conveyor belt. We're going to start with the normal scanner. Uh, we're going to then go into organics. We're going into guns. We're going into explosives, drugs. Uh, where is it? Money, I think, was the next one. And then we just need it to loop around, go into the scanning station. And if anything's found, it goes to the baggage station destroyer in the corner and that'll be fine so that's essentially going to be improved security across the board is what that's going to be uh we'll just run that straight into there we'll get ourselves the high speed conveyor belts for destroying everything and like that there we go so that will be improved baggage is what that'll be i think it'll take a second for everything to update i would imagine assuming i've done this right that is which i think i have uh we might actually need to go into debugging and unoccupy all conveyor belt nodes just to um actually update this i'm not a hundred percent sure that this is working as intended yet it will eventually i think we're just gonna have to wait for everything to update a little bit there we go. So there's things coming in. There's things getting found. And if it has anything dangerous on board, it is going and getting destroyed. And there's apparently a lot of dangerous things. We're finding... We are finding all sorts is what we're finding. Uh, now, here's the thing. So a bag containing dangerous contents has been loaded onto that flight. Ooh, dear. Okay. I mean, we're getting better at it, right? We're, we've, got, we've got all this stuff. Um, let's go ahead... And let's hire a couple more security guys because we want to make sure that everything is getting manned properly. So if we go into here and security officer, we'll get you, you, and you. You're all pretty decent. And uh, hopefully that means someone will come over and actually, you know, operate this thing. But it, I would imagine that with these extra security measures, we're going to start seeing uh, flights, you know, being a lot safer is, is what I'm thinking. We are still getting dangerous things being loaded onto flights, and I am noticing some complaints. So, a lot of the stands are still occupied by previous aircraft. That's interesting. What's holding them back? It kind of looks like, um... I wonder if it would be worth doing the same thing I've done with the, the trucks and the, the stairs with things like catering and garbage. Because if we go into operations, we are offering catering and cleaning again. So, maybe, maybe, maybe what we do is do that same thing, right? So, let me go into vehicles. Let me sort by, let me see here. Uh, let's sort by, not baggage right now. We don't need to worry about that. The belt loader trucks would be a decent idea. I'm curious, though, what belt loaders are we using? It looks like we're using the smaller ones. Do we ever use the bigger belt loader trucks on medium aircraft? Or are those... Those might be exclusively for the larger aircraft. So let's go in and sell the larger belt loader trucks that we have. And let's see how many of the smaller ones we're going to be left with. So we have one, two, three, nine of them. So we need seven more of those. So let's go ahead and buy 
seven of the regular belt loader trucks. That'll bring us up to 16, which is one per stand. If we have a look at the catering trucks, we need one more of those. So let's buy ourselves another catering truck as well, which is going to be right there. And if we have a look at the cabin cleaning trucks, we're going to need two more of those. So let's go ahead and get ourselves two more of the cabin cleaning trucks as well. And then what I want to look at is going to be baggage trucks because we have a lot of those. I just don't know what the difference is in all of the baggage trucks. So the large pull force baggage truck is a workhorse. It is a solid must have for any cargo and baggage hauling needs. Narrow turn ratio trailer hitch can handle five trailers. Okay, so maybe we just get a bunch of the large pull force ones with the roof on them as well. So this one, this little small pull force can handle two trailers. I get the feeling that I would rather go with the large ones. To be totally honest, I think I think that would be the idea. We're also seeing a lot of issues with um with traffic getting about here. Um, can I be a little bit bold for a second and do some service roads? Let's see. Let's go for there and let's go for there and let's connect them like that and see if that's maybe a way for them to sort of get about a little bit easier all right so all the new products are arriving that's good news let's 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 do this let's filter let me see i i feel like we need to get rid of all of our baggage trucks i'm not gonna lie because i can't really tell which ones are which so Oh, this might be this might be a bad idea. It might be a bad idea to to do this. But let's do it. This is going to mess things up for a little bit for us, but I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. Um so let me sell all of our baggage trucks. And then let me go and buy uh 10 of these ones, which is uh, I think, you know, pretty pretty solid. Uh, we could get six of the roofless ones as well, but I don't know if they'll operate too well in bad weather, is what I'm thinking. I don't know how well that would go for us. So we'll just wait for these ones to be delivered. Obviously, you know, it's going to slow things down a little bit for the aircraft, but we'll wait for these large pull force baggage trucks to be delivered. Um, and then we'll go and order six of them, is what we'll do. So those are all going to be arriving which is beautiful news. Those will come in and go about their business soon enough. Uh, we'll have a good number of catering trucks coming in as well. Essentially, we just need to assign everything to everything, right? So every stand has a baggage truck. Every stand has a catering truck. Every stand has a cleaning truck. And my thinking and my hope would be that uh, that'll do good for us, right? Same with the uh, the belt loaders as well. So the way that works is actually really simple. If we go into here, we can filter. We can see we've got some um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and four more of them. Are they on their way? Did I not get enough of them, or are they just not interesting? We might need four more of those. I might not have. I'm not. I'm not really sure what. Um, hello. We should have more of these. I could swear we would have. Uh, that's fine. Let's start with the cabin cleaning trucks. So essentially, we go in and we can assign to, uh, ooh, we can't assign cl uh, cabin cleaning trucks to specific stands. That's interesting. Uh, the catering trucks are the same. I didn't notice that. That's actually my bad. Uh, the stair trucks can be assigned. The belt loader trucks can be assigned. So what we'll do is essentially stand 22, stand 32. We just go down the list. And we assign these. So that's stand 19. This one will be stand 29. I should probably rename these, to be totally honest. Uh, 18 on that one. So that would be 23 and 24 and 25. And th this is this is tedious, don't get me wrong. But um, we're looking 17, then 31, 28, and 26. So it's tedious, but it works, right? 
that's kind of the thing with it. It's um, it's the, not the most exciting, but it means that as soon as a plane gets on the stand, the vehicles are there to start pulling the cargo out, start pulling the people out, start getting the getting it ready for pushback. You know what I mean? It works out more efficiently because the vehicles don't have to travel from. I mean, admittedly, the parking lots are just underground, but they d they still don't have to travel far. So it really does uh, work out in that regard. But let's go ahead and filter by baggage. And uh, yeah, we are going to need to get ourselves four of, uh, of those large pull force ones. So we'll get those in there and then we'll assign more uh, baggage vehicles to, you know, the stands and all that stuff, which will be a good thing, I reckon. I'm also noticing we're not getting any more complaints about... Uh, things getting on to flights that shouldn't be on flights, which is beautiful news. So not going to complain there. It, you know, everything's getting destroyed that should be getting destroyed, as we can see. And I assume the same is happening on the other side as well. We do have a security guy there. So, yeah, everything's going out that should be going out. I always wonder if we should... Um, I always wonder if we should be scanning stuff that's coming in as well. Because we, we can. I mean... I just, I just don't really know. I am, um, it's, it's tempting. I mean, it, it would be possible as well. Technically, if we just throw a tilt tray onto arrivals, filter it over there and then put a tilt tray so it heads back out. I just don't know that we need to scan stuff that comes in. I, I mean, we would assume other airports are scanning on our behalf, so we'll not worry too much about it. Uh, so there we go. We've got all of our baggage trucks. Let's go down and do exactly the same thing then. And just like that, all of the baggage vehicles are now on the stands, just sitting around waiting for planes to come in. We've got a pushback truck waiting here. We've got the stairs. We've got this. We've got that. Uh, I'm wondering if we could add more stair trucks to the stands. Because obviously, I would imagine we can add them to... I mean, let's try it. Let's go for stand... Uh, what do we got? Let's do, I guess, just on the list again. So 22, 32... 21 30 so if we add more stair trucks to the stands i wonder if people will be able to get off the planes at the back as well not every i mean like th this plane here has got doors at the back for example so I'd, I'd just be curious is uh is all really uh but looking at it i think this stand actually does have two stair trucks and only one of them seems like it's operating so it's possible that nothing's going to come of this, but I'm 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 curious either way. I I'd like to see what happens here. The good news is though, we're making tremendous amounts of money, so I want to go ahead and try something. I want to try something that I've been contemplating for a little bit. And uh that something is changing the way arrivals works. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go into Terminal Foundations and I'm going to build a massive section of foundation here. Honestly, I should just build straight down to here. So we'll, we'll do that is what we'll do. And then what I want to do as well is basically build over towards arrivals. So we're going to build from and we can build that bit that bit that bit we'll go down like this as well and then uh we essentially want to connect everything together is is my thinking um although what we'll do is actually just sort of a corridor there um i'm gonna do the same on this side as well because if this idea works i'm gonna do it all across the airport and uh essentially my idea is that i want to have arrivals go upstairs and then into the baggage reclaim areas. So they're not actually going to be going back through the departures area. Which I, I know I've, I've talked about Copenhagen Airport so many times in, in this series. Uh, but Copenhagen Airport is, is an example of an airport that does have the arrivals and the departures going into the same space. You get off a plane and you can go into the departure lounge and get some food and all that. And I've talked about the Italian place in there that I absolutely love. And... I'm pretty sure that's the airport I bought my favorite pair of sunglasses in, but that's beside the point. The point is, a lot of airports don't mix the 
arrivals and the departures. So what I'm thinking we do is we go ahead and obviously make this all a secure zone and this will work with jetways later on. We're not necessarily going to keep this idea forever because I don't think this idea will necessarily work forever. But uh, for the time being, while we don't have, you know, large aircraft and, and jetways and all that stuff, I just want to see if this will work. And it's, you know, it's a way to start playing around with the idea of, um, of, uh, of, of getting, you know, multiple floors in here. Because that's something I'm really annoyed with myself about, that I didn't think about putting multiple floors into, uh, into the airport until, you know, we'd kind of built everything. So essentially... We would do escalators, say, I don't know, there, right? So have some escalators so you can go upstairs. And then you would be led the entire way over to uh, to this space is, is what you would be. Um, I'm not entirely sure what way to do this necessarily, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Um, and I think looking at it it's actually quite an easy way to do this we basically go ahead and do escalators here and then have the secure zone exit up there so let's do some bulldozing let's get rid of you and then let's go ahead and extend this secure zone uh all the way into into here we get ourselves the security exit right there and we get ourselves some escalators right oh it's not gonna let me do it is it? it must be placed underneath a terminal really wait what oh i did baggage reclaim i'm an idiot okay um so basically this whole bit needs to be filled in as well that's fair enough uh so the escalators go can't cross different zones oh yeah that's a point isn't it okay uh so the escalators would go into that space which means that corridor is going to be kind of useless but I'm just really curious to see if this works so people are they're going to have to figure out the pathing right some of them are going to get kind of stuck for a little bit but if we go down here Oh, wait, no, they can't do anything because there's a wall in the way. Um, So basically go in and tear out the wall as well. So tear that bit out, tear that bit out, and then get the secure zone back in there. So that should let people come upstairs and then go over that way to get out of here. Now, obviously, that means that arrivals from up here are still going to be coming down here to leave. But I guess what we could do is actually throw another escalator over here. So it would be, you know, in like that spot. So you can go upstairs from there as well to get out to arrivals. Again, that's assuming that actually works, which it looks like it actually is. So yeah, that I think is kind of a cool idea, right? We move the we move the arrivals out of this space completely, and uh, it gives us a bit more room in the departures area for literally anything else. I mean, we're not going to put anything else out there because we don't really have, you know, the room to do that right now. But uh, I think that's kind of cool. I like that a lot. We have a lot of people actually going up into uh, the escalators there. Admittedly, a lot of people are ignoring the uh, the escalators down here, but that's fine, I guess. It's not the end of the world. It'd be nice if they didn't ignore them, but whatever, right? It's whatever. They are using them at the very least. Actually, so many of them are uh, are using them. Wow, okay. That that wound up being uh, a lot better for us than I thought it would be. Let's go ahead and build another section of terminal here. And uh, let's go ahead and tear out the walls just here. So we can turn that into a secure zone. And then we'll just do escalators in that space as well. Uh, so what we want to do is bulldoze you. 
and then make all of that a secure zone as well. So right up to about that spot. Uh, we get ourselves a security exit there, and then the escalators can go. What kind of distance back are we looking at? Uh, it's a gap of four between them. So what we do is, I think that right there, that looks like five to me, is it? Uh, no, that is that is four. So I think that's right. Uh, and that will let people, you know, get from... Oh, God, the game's having trouble. Uh, it'll let people do their thing over here as well. Which will be absolutely beautiful, is my thinking. Uh, so if we have a look upstairs, essentially we should start seeing people using these escalators to go over that way. Um, we could arguably do the same thing down here as well. And while we have the space, I'd almost be tempted to say that we put escalators beside every single one of the uh, of the uh, of the gates, so that we really start filtering the arrivals. I think that'd be kind of cool. So let's bring that back to there, and uh, let's bring this back to there. I love that I have enough money in the game right now to just build things like this like crazy. It's great. Like, we, we've, I've really, you know, it's gone full circle. It was, you know, started out pretty well, and then it all fell apart miserably, and now we're making tremendous amounts of money. I love it. I really do. Anyway, nice big secure zone there. We'll do a nice big secure zone there. And we'll go ahead and get ourselves some escalators. So, my thinking would be, we go there, we go there. We go to that spot, and we go to that spot. That way, every single one of the gates has an escalator. Uh, and we'll do the same on this side. So again, every single one of the gates has an escalator. And it would be kind of cool to have people coming down the escalators as well, but we'll not worry too much about that at the minute. Let's just have a little look and see what happens. So people are coming up that one, they're coming up that one. And yeah, all of them are getting used. We got this one down here getting used, these ones over here. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. That's exactly what we want. We want people using the escalators rather than going through the departures area. Which means the departures area should stay relatively clean, which is kind of exciting. So let's turn this area into, uh, into something usable. Let me get myself uh, some trash cans, I think. Would be kind of a, a good thing to have back there, just out of the way. Um, and what we'll do is get ourselves some decorations as well. Uh, we can do hedges inside. I kind of like the idea of doing that. So let's do some hedges like this. And uh, then in this space here, we could do... We could probably do some seating or something like that. So let's do hedges there as well, just to sort of surround it. And then in terms of seating, we have, you know, different tables. We have these laptop tables as well that we're not actually using. So, we'll get some of those there. We'll get some of them up here as well. And we can space these out pretty well, to be totally honest. But, uh, oh, we got benches as well. I think they look a little bit more outdoor to, uh, to me, though. Uh, let's see, modern, run chair. I don't know what kind of chair, I don't know what kind of chairs I'm looking for here. I'm, I'm thinking, let's try these modern ones and see if people can actually sits at those tables. Oh yeah, so those are actually getting used. I don't know if the tables themselves are getting used though, but that's fine. So let's see, maybe we use bar stools at these uh, these laptop tables instead. So let's see, did those get used? Or are those only going to be used in cafes? These stand, there we go. So those are going to get used. That's fine. So we'll do some bar stools at the, uh, at the laptop tables. And then we can go ahead and uh, hopefully decorate the area sort of nicely. So let's go here. Let's go and do this sort of thing as well. So we'll get like a nice big square of laptop tables. That's one, two, three, four. And then the fifth one is the laptop table. So one, two, three, four. The fifth one's the laptop table. And we can do that sort of thing with a bit of a weird gap in the middle. But I guess... Oh, we could do bushes in there, actually, couldn't we? So, do like the hedge thing down the middle. I think I think that's kind of cool, actually. And then we could do some hedges in the corners, or we could do some nice just plants in the corners. Might look interesting. Just make this area really nice. 
And we'll get ourselves a few more of the uh, the bar stools as well. So we'll just surround this with a bunch of uh, a bunch of these stools, and we'll just make it like a nice sort of communal area for people to uh, to sit in. Although it looks a little bit weird actually having that central area completely cut off. So maybe the bushes need to go. That is a little bit strange. Um, let's let's take the hedges out, and let's do it this way. So they kind of surround the back of the uh, the laptop tables. And then I guess in these middle areas, we could do some... Ooh, hold on a minute. Uh, can I get some gate seating in here? I won't go central, but I could do the small... Ooh, I could do the small ones. That's kind of perfect. So let's do a bit of gate seating in there. Not super fancy, but it'll do the job. And then we'll do, I guess, the same thing... Uh, over here as well. We'll do some gate seating so people can kind of just sit around and, you know, try not to listen to the conversation that everyone around them's having. Because let's be honest, that's what we all do in airports, right? Like, that's that's the big thing in airports. You're sitting quite close to people uh, and you're like, oh, you know, I don't really want to listen to this person's conversation. But, you know, they're probably talking really too loud on their phone and you can't help it. That's, that might just be me. That might make me sound like a creep, but I, I don't know. I, I've, I've talked about my pet peeve of people talking really loud on cell phones before. Uh, so, you know, if someone's talking so loud, I can't zone out what they're saying. That's kind of on them at that point, if I'm totally honest, but whatever. I think that'll be kind of a nice area to have there. You know, let people come in and sit, use the laptop tables, use the gate seating, do what they got to do. Uh, we get everyone filtering upstairs for arrivals, which I love. Departures just looks a lot clearer. And I think that's what it needs to look like. It needs to be that bit clearer. The shops are a little bit less busy, which is maybe a bad thing, but I I like that a lot. I think that's pretty cool. I also just like having the uh, the bins back there. I think that's quite cool as well. And then just this area. I, I love areas like this in airports, I'm not gonna lie. When you get something that's like, it's, it's crowded, but there's some green to it, and it's got some character, I don't know. It's... I, I'm going to be, I just like airports. I don't like traveling. I've gone, I went through a phase where I was like, you know, I, I would, I would travel and I was like, oh, this is great. I've kind of gone full circle again where I'm like, mm, don't know about this. And it's weird. It's really weird. Cause I, um, I don't know. I used to be, I was a really anxious flyer, uh, for years when I was, when I was younger, especially I was really nervous uh, getting on planes. I just, I wasn't comfortable on, on planes at all. Um, and then, you know, I started traveling for work and I started, you know, traveling to events and meeting you guys and, and all that different stuff. And, um, it was, it, I guess it was sort of like a, a necessity thing. Like I couldn't continue to be an anxious flyer. I had to get over it because I had to travel for work. So, I don't know. I, I'm not back to being anxious of flying it's it's not a problem i'm just in a spot now where i just don't enjoy traveling as much as i did and i'm i'm really not sure why it's it's really strange i just i don't know the thought of traveling anywhere gives me a a degree of anxiety these days is is what it does not anything serious you know not not any kind of terrible anxiety just anxiety i'm just like eh, you know i, I don't i don't really don't really want to get on a plane today. Um, also, gonna completely get rid of the point of this corridor by doing a door there. I'm curious to see if the corridors still get used. But we'll do a door there as well. Um, and we'll, we'll just throw the uh, that same dark wood underneath it as well there. It'll just let people filter out one sec. I think that's kind of what we need to be doing here is letting them filter out, let them do their thing. Man, I'm so happy with uh, with people going upstairs before um, arrivals, though. Really, really happy about that. It just looks so much more calm in the departures area. I love it. I really, really do. All right. Well, I think, ladies and gents, it's fair to say that we've done a pretty good job here. So... We are going to be continuing with Dorkchester International Airport. We are by no means done. It's busy. 
it's making money but i think it could be making more money i think we uh i think we're gonna need to figure out a way to get some uh some large planes in here but keep in mind we can fit large aircraft stands in here that is a thing we can do we have got the technology so if we really wanted to we could get maybe two yeah probably about two stand yeah two stands on these sides so we could do some large aircraft we could do four of them uh it might be slightly trickier on that side it might just be relegated to uh might just be the one on that side looking at it although we might be able to squeeze two either way i think we need to get some large aircraft in here it's gonna mean that we have to increase the size of the taxiways it's gonna be a lot of work but i want to do it i do i i want to do it i want to you know do some good stuff here get these uh get the airport going really really good so that's kind of part of my next goal i'm also thinking that we could and i'll do this really quickly just before we wrap things up uh we could throw some tiny little bathrooms into uh these spaces here they wouldn't be luxurious by any stretch of the imagination but you know a couple of toilets like that we could throw a couple of sinks you know one two three there do some hand dryers uh one two three four and uh then you know throw down the tiles right so we'll throw through the tiles there and then all we would need to do is go to blueprints grab it and we can do one it doesn't place the oh it doesn't do the toilet rooms does it uh two and you know three right so that'll give us a few more toilets which i think would be really cool i said i would just do the one room there but it's fine we'll just do all of them really quick the reason i want to do this though and the reason i want to do the multiple toilets is because we could if we really wanted to go ahead and throw some restaurants into those spaces so each restaurant would essentially have its own little bathroom and i think that would be kind of cool i think that'd be kind of cool and it's probably going to be kind of useful to have you know some extra bathrooms in here that are all a little bit closer together so we'll turn that one on we'll turn that one on we'll turn that one on and we'll get this one done here as well and it fills in the space underneath the escalators really nicely i think you know they'll be relatively popular and then with some restaurants right next to them they'll probably be even more popular so that's a thing i want to do ladies and gentlemen that's going to do us for today thank you so much for watching it's been my absolute pleasure as always and as always i'll see you next time Buh bye bye